How do we move walls in SketchUp? I get this question a lot. Designers build a 3D model, it's looking great, and now it needs to be edited to bump out a wall a few feet. To do this, I like to use my Select and Move tools. I'm going to select the walls I want to move, and then I'll move them along the appropriate axis. An important part of this process will be the view of my model. So I'm going to move to Top View so that I can be sure I'm only grabbing the walls that I'd like to move. Next, I need to double click into my wall group. If you have ungrouped walls, and loose geometry, you can skip this step, but know that grouping your walls so that they're separate from other objects in your model is an important part of model organization and efficiency. Mine are grouped, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click into the group. Now I need to select the walls that I'd like to move by drawing a selection box from left to right. In this case, I'd like to bump out this wall two feet. It's important not to select from right to left because that function is going to perform differently and select a lot more than what I'd like to in this case. So again, I'm gonna go from left to right by clicking and dragging with my select tool. Once my walls are selected, I'm gonna use the move tool and move them along the green axis. So I'm gonna hit the letter M I don't need to click on the walls, I can click over here, click and release, and begin moving along that green axis. If you're having trouble getting it to align with the axis, you can use the arrow keys to lock that in. In this case, I'm going to hit the left arrow key, and now I'm not allowed to veer from that green axis until I unlock it. I'd like to bump it out two feet, so I'm going to type two feet, enter. Now, I'm done with this group, so I'm going to escape out of it. So spacebar, click into some white space, or hit my escape key. Now, I need to move the rest of the objects two feet as well. My walls were grouped separately than my windows and some artwork here, so I'm going to draw a selection box around those things. Now that those are selected, I can do the same function, M, click and release, move along the green axis, and type two feet, enter, spacebar. And now again with this table setting here, I'd like to move that two feet. So I'll perform that function one more time, two feet, enter. Now let's say I'd like to move this opening over here two feet as well. I'm gonna go ahead and double click back into my wall group, draw a selection box left to right. Now I've selected this. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but you can see that all of that geometry is blue, but the rest of the walls are not. So now I can use my move tool. Again, green axis, two feet, enter. This also works for widening the space. If I just want to widen perhaps this space here, I can move it back along that green axis. But all the time, I'm making sure that I'm staying aligned with either the green or the red axis where it's appropriate so that I don't mess up my walls. Now that I'm done, I'll hit spacebar, click into some white space, and it's important to check my axis alignment. I have a preset shortcut for that, but you can also find it under your Styles window. Edit, click on the Edges icon here, and under Color, you can switch it from All Same to By Axis. Now all of the edges that are aligned with the axis are going to change to the color that they correspond with. So I'm seeing some black, but those are intentionally at an angle, so those shouldn't be green or red. Everything else looks aligned, so I'm in good shape to keep moving forward with my modeling.